Hi, I'm Deborah Huntley. I am a preservation archaeologist here at the Center for Desert Archaeology, and I'm going to be the instructor and the field director for this summer's archaeological field school, um, emphasizing preservation archaeology at Mule Creek, New Mexico. This summer we're focusing on the Fornholt site. We've already done some extensive mapping, so we have a really good idea of the, how the site is laid out. What we don't know, um, what we need to get a better sense of, is how long the site was occupied and how it was related to their neighbors at the Three Up site nearby. So that's one of our key research questions for the summer and the coming field seasons. A preservation archaeology field school, to me, the, the key thing is that we want to learn as much as we can from the sites that we're investigating with the least impact on those sites. Archaeology is inherently a destructive activity in that once we've taken things from the ground, um, we can't put them back. So one of the things that we really emphasize is, um, number one, working on sites which have, have already had some negative impact from looting or things like that, but also trying to avoid digging up architecture, trying to work in trash middens where we can have a low impact on the site overall, and really emphasizing the ethic of um, dig as little as you need to get as much information as you can. The other aspect I'd, I'd say that's very important is that we really want to work with communities. We want to get to know the communities that we're working in. We want to encourage people to understand why archaeology is valuable, why archaeological sites can be valuable, why they might want to become involved in protecting sites on their land, for example. So that's going to be something that I hope students will learn from this field school as well. One of the things that I enjoy the most about our approach is the center's focus on community outreach. Archaeology is really best when shared with the public and getting the students involved uh, on a daily basis with telling the story of archaeology is uh, one of the things that appeals to me the most about the preservation archaeology techniques. My particular interest in your Mule Creek is in examining the Mule Creek obsidian which is found throughout the valley and we know from other research is being circulated all over the southern southwest. By excavating in Mule Creek and reconstructing the demographics and history of the local area, it really gives us a window into the source of this really widespread social network that is moving flakestone material uh, hundreds of miles in the 13th and 14th century. We're looking forward to giving our students the opportunity to learn uh, archaeological excavation techniques, survey, and uh, data recording in a really unique environment. This summer we'll be working at a 13th century village in Mule Creek called Fornholt. Fornholt has about 60 rooms. There's a very large depression in the southern room block that we think is either a very large kiva or a plaza. Looking at that part of the site and the layout of the site in general can tell us a lot about people, how people organize themselves and particularly how that compares to similar sites that are in the river valleys to the north where again you'll have several small room blocks and maybe some of these ceremonial structures. Fornhold is particularly interesting because it's in a boundary zone where even across the road in Mule Creek you have sites that are very different that are made of adobe instead of masonry that are laid out in a very different way. Often they're very very small, they're using a different suite of ceramics. We're in a very interesting area in the 13th century and in addition this gives us some idea of what things were like when the migrants who have been the focus of, of the center's previous work um, came to Mule Creek in the late 13th century. It's always wonderful to work with field school students. I feel like we have one of the best jobs in the world. Students who have maybe a lot of experience in the classroom and in the lab, to really see them get their hands on just these physical pieces of the past for the very first time is just an incredible experience. I'd really like to encourage you to apply for our field school this summer. I think this will be a truly unique experience and very rewarding. I think you'll learn a lot. I think you'll have a lot of fun. You'll work hard and um, I think you'll really enjoy it.